Hello! It's Friday, October 10th, and you're watching ESPNA The Ocho! I can't do this ghost talk anymore. It's annoying. I could do some QA. I could eat some candy. And I can take us to the next segment. Yeehaw! Hey, I'm Alana, and I'm going to ask people these questions about Halloween. Even though it's August, you're seeing this in October or September. This month is October. Or September. And you know what that means. You should be out trick or treating and having fun with your friends and family. Have a safe and happy Halloween, everybody. Hi, we're going to ask some questions. What are you going to be for Halloween? John Cena's Bob Ross? Oh, no, I'm going to be Squidward. <laughs> oh, yeah, because I'm going to be Squidward. What are you going to be for Halloween? I have no idea. <laughs> what are you going to be for Halloween this year? Uh, um, uh, uh, Blake Doctor. What? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Well, don't die. Hi, what's scarier, a vampire or a werewolf? A vampire. So if a werewolf came up to you and said, Rock, I'm going to turn you into a werewolf, you'd be like, Psh, I ain't scared of you. You're not a vampire. No, I'd run away. Oh. I don't know. Long answer, miss. Oh, I'll be able to scare you, a vampire or a werewolf. Neither. Neither? <laughs> That's not an option! What's your vampire werewolf? Wow. <laughs> so if a vampire came up to you and said, I'm going to suck all the blood out of your body, you'd still say? Yep. <laughs> what about you, Miss? <laughs> um, a vampire. A vampire? Yeah. Cause Why? They're fast and they have fangs and they're going to suck your blood. <laughs> like your dog? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> if a werewolf came up to you and they're like, wow, I'm gonna turn you into a werewolf. You'd be like, Pfft. I ain't scared of you. You're, you're a werewolf, not a vampire. Uh, sure. <laughs> Javon, what's scared you're a vampire or a werewolf? What? What's scared you're a vampire or a werewolf? <laughs> Y'all are crazy. <laughs> I'm a big Iron, Iron Man. Man. Yeah, I'm a big Iron Man fan. Yeah, we have to he died. This yes. <laughs> a lot. These people had some amazing and interesting answers. Happy Halloween. Dang, that Q&A was really amazing. Yeah, it was amazing. Man, now I'm hungry. Hey, what type of chocolate do you like? I like dark chocolate. You're a disgrace. Do you like candy? Well, you're in luck. We're doing a top 10 favorite candy segment. We asked a lot of students and teachers what their favorite candies were. We got the top 10 favorite Halloween candies from gummy bears to Hershey's. Let the sugar high begin. Gummy bears are number 10 on our spooky list. They are sticky and totally delicious. Butterfingers are number nine on our list. Nice, crunchy inside, but chocolate on the outside. Number eight is Twix, a delicious, crunchy caramel inside with a nice, sweet layer of milk chocolate. Sour Patch Kids is our seventh favorite candy. We all love them, a nice sour gummy. Number six has stripes in three different colors. It's candy corn. Number five, the bubbliest candy of all, Blow Pops. Fourth on our list is world famous Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, the amazing peanut butter inside and the milk chocolate outside layer. I can't believe it's not number one. Number three, Jolly My Holly and Rancher My Ranchers, it is Jolly Ranchers. Number two is the amazing breakable Kit Kat bars. Get a piece of that Kit Kat bar. Hershey's bars are number one. We all love them and they come in all different flavors. Wow, that was amazing. I love all those candies. How could they pick their one favorite one? Well, thank you for helping us out. If you are going trick or treating, look out for these treats because you will know which ones are the top 10. No matter what, Jolly Ranchers are the best. No, chocolate's good for you. After I eat all my candy, I like to watch new movies and trailers. Well, I guess it's ironic we have a trailer. Death Row Duck! Wait, what?
Ducks. Well, that's one for the ages. Well, I think we can get inspiration for a Halloween costume. If you think anyone is going to be a duck for Halloween, one, no one will be. And two, if anyone sees anyone in a duck costume, they're going to be drop kicked automatically. Well, that girl's my dream of being a duck. You are a duck. The ugly duckling. If you guys don't know what to be for Halloween. Our first Halloween costume recommendation is a cheerleader. Cheerleaders are a group of girls and boys who get the crowd going and jumping on their feet. To dress up for a cheerleader, it's a two-piece, usually a shirt or a skirt. You also need pom-poms and a microphone. If it's a cold day, I prefer leggings or jeans if you're going to be a cheerleader. Our second Halloween costume recommendation is a pineapple. You can dress up for a pineapple and tell everybody you love fruit. All you need to make this costume is really a long shirt and socks. You also need toilet paper roll, scissors, and sharpies and more. Any kind of fruit is easy to make, but I think pineapples is easier since that's what I'm going to be. Our third Halloween costume recommendation is a banana. All you need is yellow pants, a yellow shirt, or a banana suit. You can annoy your parents by singing the banana song a million times over and over again. Everybody would love your costume and laugh. You could probably get a lot of candy too. Those were my costumes for the costume recommendation. Hopefully I see some of these on Halloween night. Happy Halloween! Wow, so many things, but only one can be chosen. Like a game show? Is that Family Feud? I think it's Jeopardy. Game Show Network presents Halloween edition Family Feud. Welcome to the Halloween Game Show. I'm your host, Kaylee Ricker, and this is Scaretacular. Question one. How much money does the average American spend on Halloween candy? 25. 25? 30. The answer was 25. You get a point. How many chocolate candies are sold on the week of Halloween? 200,000. Okay, what do you think? 190 million? Nope. 90 million, but the closest was Miss Penny's group. What was the first jack-o'-lantern made of? Like squash? Pumpkin. Neither was correct, it was turnips. In the correct spelling of Halloween, where is the apostrophe place? What do you guys think? I think we rung in first. We think between the two L's. They were correct. Oh. Where did Halloween originate? Salem, Massachusetts. What do you think? England? Nope. No. The correct answer is Ireland. The winner is Miss Penny's team. Woo! Those were informative questions. I hope you learned as much as I did. Even though some of those questions were tough, only the only one team remains on the top. The winner is Miss Penny. Congratulations to the winners. Back to you, anchors. I wonder if they got inspiration from Family Feud. I mean, most likely. I really think something's gone down on Halloween. Well, what do you mean? That a murder will go down. A murder, you say? It sounds like there will be people running. Ah! I heard this house has the best candy in the neighborhood. Yeah, but it's late and I want to go home. Oh, that's so boring. You should like actually be cool for once and like let's trick or treat. That's Gucci. I mean, okay. it is our last year of middle school. It's yeah. probably the last time we get to trick or treat. Yeah, let's do this. <laughs> trick or treat. Trick or treat. Oh no! Oh, no Colin! <laughs> where are we? I don't know. It's too dark. Colin, where are you? I'm over here. Where's that? Good luck. Good, you too. <laughs> Man, they're gone. But I have to keep going. There's the door! Wait, no time has passed? How is this possible? Oh well, guess I'll go back to trick or treating.
Wait, when am I going to tell our parents? That was very creative and fits perfectly into the spooky Halloween season. Wait, where's the weather? What is it supposed to be like on Halloween? We need to know if it's hot and my chocolate melts or if it's cold and my dots get chewy. For my own announcement, don't take any type of red balloon while trick-or-treating. A clown usually appears behind you and eats your arm or scares you to death. What? We don't have time for announcements, and now there's a zombie outbreak. Well, that does sign you out quick. Tune in next time, if we are alive. This was ESPN8, The Ultra.